The two game circumcision. Mm. Among the Tugen community, the boys are usually named according to the seasons they are born within. Kipkemi is the traditional name given to those born during a drought season, while Kiprop will be a name for those born during the rainy season. Those born when visitors are around will be named Kipto. For the girls, the K is replaced with a J, so that Kipkeme becomes Jepkeme and Kipto becomes Jepto. Well, like any other tribe in Kenya, the Tugen also expect their boys to undergo traditional circumcision at the age of 18 and above. This is because it is at this age that they believe the boys are old enough to start their own life. So from 18, ndiyo kijana tatairi. Aha. Yoni wakati watakuwa umemaliza shule. Kwanza hawa kwa tuka nikuwa sana sana. Tasele wa umemaliza shule. Yoni 18 years. Ama hata kama unetropa utu, mbaga vikishi 18 years. So what happens during the circumcision period and how is it done? First of all, the boy to be circumcised is usually separated from the rest of the community and taken to a nearby forest where he will stay for a month after being circumcised. During his stay at the forest, he'll be given an assistant commonly known as smooth rain among the Tugen. The assistance or the caretaker of the boy is supposed to help the boy in cooking and even teach him whatever is expected of him at the end of the one month period in the forest. Mutrin, wamesema komba wewe ndi unakisha wea nakula, anafanya kila kitu. Chakula imeisha, hakuna mtu ambaye amekuja kuleta chakula. Unafanya aji? Ikiisha, awa bia watahumia. So, last month piana imbited chakula ikwe for 30 days. Yeah. So while at the forest, the circumcised boy and his caretaker are supposed to light up a fire and make sure it never goes off for the rest of their staycation in the forest. According to the Tugen elders, if the fire goes off, then their lives in the forest will be very miserable and they may end up dying. <laughs> By the way, the reason for the separation of the boy from other community members during the one-month period is so as to prepare him on being independent and also separate him from the worldly things that could influence his character negatively at the moment, which was so uncalled for because he was expected to marry and live a responsible life once he was out of the forest. During his stay in the forest, the boy is also not allowed to be visited by any uncircumcised boy or any girl and once he was out of the forest, he should never be allowed to stand behind any woman in times of trouble as he will be the one to being looked up to as a problem solver. At the end of the 30 days, the village elders visit the boy at the forest to make sure he is fine. The mud on his face is then removed and the boy is taken home, where he will be ceremoniously received by the community for transitioning successfully. He will then be smeared with cow dung by an old man who will then wash him and step on him. <laughs> It is at this point that the boy will be declared a real man and if he has a girlfriend, he will be allowed to stay with her as husband and wife. 
That would be all about the Tugen circumcision. My name is Nokla Murunga and this is Africa Rebirth Kenya. Thank you for your time. Have a lovely day ahead.